uh, my name is uh, Carl Hudak. I'm one of the owners, operators of uh, Dartmouth Vacuum Rebuilders. We do uh, a lot of servicing of vacuums here and sales. We have parts, uh, belts, bags, motors. So why should we care? Why should we care? We should care because if you're repairing your items instead of throwing them in the garbage, you're saving money by using the same machine over and over again, and we're not filling the landfill up. And uh, keeps jobs here. Keeps my keeps me working. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you what are you proud of in the stuff that you're carrying in here? Which are the which are the babies? Oh, what I like is uh, is tri for one thing. So this is the older well, not an older version, probably from the the eighties or nineties. But they've made these this vacuum hasn't changed since they started back in the fifties. Eh? It's a good quality vacuum. That's, it will last a long time. Keep re, keep rebuilding those. There are people that come in here that bought them. They paid 200 bucks way back in the 50s for them, a lot of money. And they're still getting repaired too. They're something that's going to last. I like those. Uh, filter Queen is another quality vacuum. With the Filter Queen, I mean, they're expensive the, the outright when you first buy one, but you can get years and years. I mean, you can get 30, 40 years out of them. Hmm. You just keep repairing them. Away you go. What's with the faces on these guys? Okay, uh, faces. These are a, a pneumatic vacuum that comes from Great Britain. They used them over there for a while. And uh, the commercial industry, and then they're in the domestic industry. They've been in Canada for a while now, in the commercial industry, but now they're selling them for domestic use. They're a quality vacuum. They have a, a good filter system. They have paper bag, cloth bag, easy to repair. Like I have people in the commercial industries that have those for 20 years too. They just bring them in to have the motors replaced with them because they're they're made of good uh, material. And why the faces? Why the faces? So Stuck on that, I guess. You got a face and you don't want to beat it up, right? You don't mind taking Henry out to clean the floor. <laughs> Another member of the family. Yeah, there's Henry's, there's James's, there's Charles, there's Hetty. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's great. Well, thank you, Carl. What do you what do you hope that people take away from you know having a conversation about repair culture? Well, I hope that people think about it and start so thinking well they bought something, they should buy something, maybe it might cost them a little bit more when they first buy it, but they know it's going to last and it's, it's going to be around so they can get parts for it. And if you buy something that's quality, they're going to make parts to repair it with it. But if you buy something that's cheap, you know, they're not going to make parts. They're, they're going to make parts harder to, to get, to get it repaired because they want you to put that out on the curb and go in the store and buy another one. But what I want you to do is bring it in here and get it repaired. Beautiful.